Welcome to Flutter Teacher. In this video, I will explain one of the most useful widget called Circle Avatar along with all its properties and features. At the end, I will share code for creating Circle Avatar with single and double border. So without wasting time, let's get started. Circle Avatar is an easiest way for creating circles and circular images in Flutter. Basically, Circle Avatar represents the user through a profile picture. Or in absence of profile picture, the user's initials are used. We can also use Circle Avatar for creating attractive circular icons. Most importantly, Circle Avatar is not an interactive widget. So we won't have support for user tap or clicks. To make it interactive, we must wrap it inside the inkwell or gesture detector. Now let's talk about different properties of Circle Avatar. I will start from the basic properties. We have a simple Circle Avatar placed inside the center widget. Child requires a widget that has to be placed on the Circle Avatar. As the name suggests, the properties Background Color and Foreground Color allows us to control or change the background and foreground color of the Circle Avatar. Here the background color indicates the color of content presented on the Circle Avatar. We mostly use a text as a child for circle avatar when we want to present a user that don't have any profile picture. So in such a case, we can use initial letters of the user, means the initial uh, of the name or say surname here. You can see here, this particular circle avatar is representing a user that has a name starting with letter S. We can place icon as a child whenever we want to create these kinds of attractive circular icons. It's important to note that when we directly use a child as the image for circle avatar, it is not going to create circular images. How to make a circular image, we'll discuss in the same video itself. Let's talk about various radius supported by the circle avatar. The radius property allows us to control the size of circle avatar. Default value for radius is 20. Let me change its value to say 100 so that we can create a much more bigger circle avatar. Mean radius and max radius allows us to control the minimum and maximum value for radius in case of responsive UIs. Default value for mean radius is 0 and for max radius it is double dot infinity. It is important to note that the mean radius and max radius can only be used when value of radius is null. It means if you are planning to use mean radius and max radius, make sure you are not using radius in your code. Now let's talk about a way for creating circular images using background image and foreground image property. Using this background image, we can apply the background image for circle of that. Make sure that for this background image, we must provide an image in the form of image provider. Let's understand why it is called background image. For example, if I place some child here along with some text, for example, say text I have say font size of 120 here, you can see here, this particular text that is a child is placed on the top of this image. That's why this image we call it as the background image so that this text means that child is acting as the foreground content for this particular circle avatar. Now what will happen if we use say a uh, background image along with the foreground image. So let me use some foreground image here. Now you can see here uh, I have used both the foreground images and the background image here. So as the name suggests a foreground image is always going to place on the top of the background image. That is the reason this image of guitar is placed on this phase one image. Make sure that in my case, this guitar is a transparent. That's why we can see both this face as well as this guitar image. But what happens when your background image and foreground image are not at all transparent? In this case, only the foreground image is going to be visible and not the background image. You might have a question. Do we really have a need for placing both this background and foreground image in the real applications? I will say yes, uh, there are some situations where we want to show the background image and on the top of that one, we want to show some small or some different image. Let's see what happens when we use all these three that is child, background image and foreground image at a time on the same circle avatar. And I will also explain the priorities among using them. You can observe here, in my example, the foreground image that is the image of Gita is transparent and that is the reason all these three are getting visible on my UI. For example, if my foreground image is not transparent, okay, let me change it to say a phase 2 here. Let's use your phase 2.jpg and when I save here, you can see only phase 2 is getting visible. So it's clear that among these three, the foreground image has a high priority. Means if your foreground image is not at all transparent, only and only 
foreground image is going to get visible. So let me comment the foreground image here and you can now observe here on the top of this background image the child is getting presented. You might have a question what happens if I comment the background image and uncomment the foreground image? Whether this child S that is a text S is going to get visible on the top of his face too? I will say no. Make sure that the child is only placed on the top of background image not on the top of foreground image. It means in case of foreground image and the child your child is always placed behind the foreground image. That is the reason when I save the code you can see only the face to that is this foreground image is visible and the child with the text S is not visible here. Let's talk about last two properties that allows us to handle error in case when the background and foreground image is not available. Both these on background image error and on foreground image error requires a callback function that takes first parameter as the error in the form of exception and the second is the stack trace for an exception. Let's understand use of this on background image error. Consider your background image, whatever you are using might be from a set or from your network. If it is unable to load currently in your application, instead of showing an exception in the app and stopping your app from getting crashed, this particular callback function will execute and using this function, we can deal with the error condition. Same thing will happen in case of the on foreground image error. Instead of showing error when the foreground image is unable to load, this callback function will execute and that lets you to handle the error condition. Make sure that for using this on background image error, the background image must be used. Means value for the background image should not be null. For using this on foreground image error, the foreground image value must be used means it should not be null. Now let's see how we can create this circle avatar using the single border. The most simple way of creating border for the circle avatar is to wrap your circle avatar inside the another circle avatar. Make sure that the radius of outer circle avatar should be little more than the inner radius. You can see here in my case I have used here 85 for the outer and 80 for the inner so that it will have the border of 5 pixel thickness. If you want to decrease the thickness simply you have to just decrease the radius here you can see here if I say it to 82, it is just a 2 pixel thickness. So let me go back to 85 here. And to manage the color of border, you simply have to manage the background color of outer circle of that. For example, instead of gray, say if I use here green, it is going to turn the border in green color. Let's see how we can create this circle avatar that has two different borders. The most simple way of creating a circle avatar with two different borders is to place your original circle avatar inside the another circle avatar and this particular circle avatar has to be again placed inside the another circle avatar and as you go on in the up level the radius should go on increasing so you can observe here the radius of outer circle avatar is 90 then the inner one is 85 and the original circle avatar that has got image is 80 here for managing this gray border here simply i have the background color of outermost circle avatar with the gray for the middle circle avatar, the background color I have managed with white and for the last circle avatar means for the innermost circle avatar, we have the background image. That's it for this video. See you guys in the next video. If you really found this video helpful and knowledgeable, then don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos.